Welcome to a special edition of Presidential Update. Along with MSU President Dr. Mark Keenum, I'm Sid Salter. Today we're in historic Lee Hall, which has been newly remodeled and now once again houses the President's office and the administration of the university. We want to talk about that and other noteworthy events over the past year with our President. Dr. Keenum, it's become sort of a tradition at this time of year each year that you reflect over the successes of the past year and you look ahead and share with the university uh, your vision for the year to come. Welcome and let's do that again. Well, thank you, Sid, and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to have this visit with you to talk about a lot of the really great things that we've experienced here at Mississippi State, particularly over this past year. Uh, it's hard to believe that we're here at Christmas time and, and that we've gone through this year, and, and again, a quite an exciting year. Uh, I'm very proud when I reflect back and look at some of the exciting things that we've accomplished over the past year, particularly where our students are concerned. You know, we had a, a wonderful graduation class of students, another record number of graduates, more than 4,300 degrees were awarded by Mississippi State University at the baccalaureate, the master's, and the doctoral level. Uh, we're meeting the need of our state in producing more college graduates, and our state needs more graduates uh, in, 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 in our society working to help meet the critical needs for moving Mississippi forward. And we're clearly on the forefront of that here at Mississippi State. You know, uh, not only are we graduating wonderful uh, individuals are going out and working in many different areas, and but we're also continuing to attract some of the best and brightest students from our state and from all across the nation, for that matter. Uh, this year's freshman class, for example, uh, was the uh, one of the best academically prepared uh, classes of freshmen that we've ever welcomed to Mississippi State, setting yet another record uh, with the highest average ACT score in the state of Mississippi. Uh, I'm very proud of that fact. And for the third year in a row now, we're more than 20,000 students. And we're growing, and we have a, a, a goal to continue to grow our enrollment here at Mississippi State. Uh, and I'm proud that we're able to attract, again, some of the best and brightest uh, young people to come to get their education here at Mississippi State to prepare them to do whatever they want to do with their, with their life. Uh, I'm very proud of the work that we're doing with our, with our faculty and that they're doing and our, our staff in the area of research. Uh, we continue to be, by far, the leading flagship research university in the state of Mississippi, helping to meet critical needs in our state, our nation, and globally. Uh, and I'm proud that we are a, continuing to put emphasis and focus for our students. We're very student-oriented, uh, Carnegie One, Class One Research University that focuses on the needs of the students and exposes them to research and, and to try to inspire them to continue their efforts of, of doing uh, research in their academic fields of choice of study to see if they want to pursue further uh, professional degrees or graduate degrees uh, after they earn their baccalaureate here at the university doing outstanding work, meeting critical needs again for our state and our nation. Uh, I'll be in New York uh, meeting with uh, university presidents from all across the country as we're launching a new effort to address a critical issue that I'm proud that Mississippi State is involved in, and that's meeting the needs of addressing the critical challenges of the future of global hunger. And as a land-grant leading research university, we have for many years and will continue to strive to address these critical challenges of the future. But as a university, for us to be in a leadership role, again, addressing critical needs and critical challenges for this whole world we live in is something that I take great pride in that our faculty, our scientists are doing right here at Mississippi State. Uh, Agriculture research would continue to be ranked among the top 10. In fact, we're number six in the nation in agricultural research. That's impressive for us as a university. Uh, we're one of the leading research universities in the fields of engineering, computer science, social science, and also humanities to show the vast diversity of what we do in the fields of research. And I'm also very proud, and I could go on and on about what we're doing in our 
commitment and outreach and economic development, job creation, helping to attract industries and businesses to come and locate in Mississippi. We partner uh, consistently with Governor Bryant and his economic development team and helping to attract industries to our state to make sure that they know when they come to Mississippi that they'll have a major research university there to help assist them as they start up their company and as they get their company up and going to assist them to be as efficient as they can be. And one of the major resources that we have to, to bring to bear is one of the fastest supercomputers in the nation right here at Mississippi State. It's the 11th fastest supercomputer on a university campus in the nation. And when you look at the computing uh, capabilities of our university, working with the Corps of Engineers, the Engineer Research Development Center at Vicksburg, and their supercomputer that we're connected to as well, and they're connected to us, the computational capabilities for the state of Mississippi puts Mississippi number seven in the nation in computational capabilities. And from an economic development standpoint, that's huge. And again, that's just another area uh, that we're leading the way in helping to move our state forward. So again, a lot to be thankful for and very proud of in the course of this year, but also in everything that we do here as a university going forward. Dr. Keenum, as the university enjoys this trajectory of growth and accomplishment, uh, obviously uh, as enrollment increases, the need for new and better facilities increases as well. As you look across the campus, it's almost like a city of cranes. Tell us about the, the development here on campus. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here in the uh, construction and renovation. Uh, I've been here now at the end of my sixth year, and that's hard to believe. But over that course of time, we've done some significant renovations of some of our more historic buildings on the campus. Uh, the very building that we're in here today, Lee Hall, has just uh, undergone a wonderful uh, renovation from top to bottom. Uh, our iconic building right here on the drill field. But I, you know, I, I go just, just across the way uh, behind the YMCA building, there's a big huge hole in the ground right now where we're building a, a new state-of-the-art classroom facility. It's a 150,000 square foot building that will be a high-tech classroom facility with parking, uh, which is also a big need on our campus. Uh, that project will be completed by the fall of 2016. Uh, we have plans to begin construction next year uh, on expanding our uh, Mitchell Memorial Library. Uh, that's something since I arrived here uh, that Dean Francis Coleman, the dean of our library, has really stressed to me the need to expand our library, library facilities. And it'll also, this expansion will allow us to uh, do a better job of, of showcasing our wonderful Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library. Uh, you know, we're just one of only five universities in the nation that, that is the home to a, a presidential library. And so this expansion will allow us, to, again, to do a much better job of showcasing that particular collection along with other collections that we want to highlight. This year was a wonderful year for our football team that we're so proud and excited about the accomplishments of our football season. And, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of, of playing football at, at Scott Field uh, with a brand new football stadium, the expansion, the $80 million expansion, which is just wonderful, wonderful addition to our campus and uh, to our football program. You know, we've got the uh, cotton mill project that we've got um, underway right now with construction on Russell Street as you enter our campus right on our front door is going to allow us to have a state-of-the-art convention center with hotel and parking is something that we have desperately needed on this campus since for many many years and so I'm really proud that that project is underway and, and ongoing and you know uh, with our growth and student numbers uh, and needs for more dining facilities we're building a new fresh foods dining facility on the south end of our campus and it'll in addition to the dining it'll also have kind of a little a mini a student union that will be there, another area, another place for our students to be able to gather and, and visit with one another. And you know, with the growth again, we're looking to build new residence halls uh, where the Evans Hall is currently locating, located. Our plans are to, uh, to bring that old uh, uh, 
uh, housing facility down and build two new state-of-the-art residence halls there. And on that very site, uh, thanks to private uh, donations and gifts to the university, we're going to be able to build a new GV Sonny Montgomery Center for America's Veterans. And I'm very proud of the fact that uh, Mississippi State University is recognized as one of the most veteran-friendly universities in the nation. Residence halls, veteran center, athletic facilities. We're building a new golf uh, facility for our men and women's golf team out at Old Waverly Golf Club right now. It's under construction. Uh, a lot going on in the construction side. And how fortuitous that this was the year that Mississippi State unveiled a new Davis Wade Stadium. We had more people around the country uh, see Mississippi State in that new light uh, and in that modern stadium. And of course, as you mentioned, a great year in football. Uh, you referenced earlier the generosity of our MSU uh, family, our alumni, our friends, our fans. Uh, talk to us about the development efforts uh, through the foundation and how these gifts help us move forward. Well, we've been very blessed. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, alumni base who are so generous to this university and many, many friends who support uh, what we're doing here, who appreciate what we're doing as a university uh, in supporting our students through outstanding scholarships, uh, supporting our faculty with outstanding uh, professorship, endowed professorships and chairs, and again facilities that we've been blessed with the generosity of many of our friends and alumni. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to believe that, uh, you know, this past year, for example, uh, we celebrated for the first time in our school history gifts of over a hundred million dollars, in fact, a hundred six million dollars. And, you know, over the past three years, we've exceeded more than eighty million dollars a year which is just unprecedented. And it, it just, it warms my heart to know that there's that type of generosity out there. Uh, we've launched a, a capital campaign called Infinite Impact. And our goal is to um, achieve uh, gifts of, of $600 million by the year 2018. And here we are at the end of 2014, and we've already surpassed $480 million towards our goal. Uh, I'm very impressed and I'm very thankful again for the support and generosity. It makes a huge impact on this university and, and who we are and what we're capable of doing going forward. So uh, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to all of our many, many uh, supporters. One of the areas where Mississippi State has been able to stand on the shoulders of our supporters and donors is at MSU Meridian. So much mm -hmm. happening there. Talk to us about that. Well, thank you. We do have a lot going on uh, in Meridian. Uh, you know, we have two campuses there, our College Park campus and our Riley campus. In fact, the IHL Board of uh, Trustees uh, just this year uh, officially named our two campuses, as I mentioned. Uh, we have a lot of growth, particularly in our downtown Riley campus. Uh, Many people are familiar with our Riley Center for Performing Arts, which has our beautiful opera house and a lot of uh, really special events. Uh, but the building right adjacent to it is the Newberry Building, which the IHL Board has just uh, approved, naming the, the uh, Robert Dean Jr. Building in honor of one of our leading citizens there in, the, in Meridian and with the Riley Foundation. Uh, and it's the home of our business school in Meridian. And uh, we just began work uh, there uh, this year on uh, renovating the Crest Department Store building, which is adjacent to the, to the Newberry uh, Robert Dean building. And it will be named after, after former mayor, uh, the late Alfred Rosenbaum, who was also very instrumental in his work with the Riley Foundation and in helping the, to lead that community. So we're very thankful again for the blessings of the support from the outstanding Riley Foundation who's helped make all of this wonderful expansion in downtown Meridian possible. And this new uh, Crest building uh, that's now the Rosenbaum building will be home up to our kinesiology program that we're, we will be teaching there in Meridian. And we're also gonna have a wonderful state-of-the-art high-tech library located downtown in that facility. Uh, we hope to have that building uh, renovated and up and operational by about this time next year. So we're about a year away 
but a lot of uh, energy is in our Meridian community and our, with our Meridian campuses. And, and I'm excited and hopeful for continued uh, enrollment growth with our presence there in East Central Mississippi. And with the uh, good efforts of Dennis Sankovich and the Riley Foundation Board, we're also yes. going to have to build a trophy case well, at the Riley are. Center as well. Uh, we, we, uh, the prestigious uh, Governor's Award for the Arts has been awarded to our uh, MSU Riley Center for Performing Arts. And, and I, I'm looking forward to, to being there to receive that special recognition at that very prestigious award ceremony. And, Again, it is a beautiful, beautiful facility, wonderful uh, uh, show place, not only for our university, but for the state of Mississippi. And it's, uh, I'm glad that it's being duly honored by this uh, very prestigious, with this prestigious award. You will, uh, you will enjoy being with the governor for that award ceremony. You're also with the governor a great deal during the budget process and with our legislative leadership. Give our, uh, our university community and our alumni uh, your sense of what the budget outlook is for the next year? Well I hope good. <laughs> um, I was very pleased that this past legislative session uh, the legislature uh, with the leadership of our Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves and Speaker Philip Gunn uh, provided the IHL system with a significant increase in funding that was very impactful for our university that allowed us to do some uh, address some critical needs not only here but for universities across the state and they recognize the importance of higher education and the role that higher education plays uh, in uplifting a state economically and so I was very pleased with the success of this past session and am somewhat optimistic going into this next session which begins in January uh, we as a system are going to work collectively to ask our leaders to help us again with, a, with an increase to take care of the needs of our faculty and staff with some pay raises that we desperately need all across our system. And we'll be communicating that and working very closely with our legislative friends and leaders to help address again the critical needs of our system. But uh, we do, we are blessed that we have leaders who understand again the importance of of higher education and the role it plays and the fact that we need to continue to have the best and the brightest in the classroom and in the laboratory helping to lead the way in our state. Dr. Keenum, this year Mississippi State for the first time in our history, uh, number one ranking in football around the country, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, it also has some tangible benefits. Uh, in enrollment meetings, we're seeing that uh, applications for housing and for actual enrollment are up uh, as we uh, move forward. Uh, what do you think the benefit of this unprecedented success to the university proper will be? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm very proud of our team and what they've done. Coach Mullen and all of our, our young men and the sacrifices and the hard work that they've put forward on the playing field and and that has uh, meant a tremendous benefit to our university just in the, the exposure as you mentioned not only here in the state but all across the nation you know when I travel around the country uh, and have over the last several weeks I've been so impressed with the people that know about what's going on in Mississippi at Mississippi State and as you say the awareness of our university it gives people an awareness that they may not know otherwise and when they learn about who we are and what we have to offer and the quality of our programs and, and it inspires them to maybe come visit they like what they see and I think that's why we're seeing as you mentioned an increase in, in, uh, in applications to our university for potential students to come and go to school here. Uh, the awareness factor is tremendous and the benefit not only to us as a university but to the state of Mississippi as a whole the positive discussions about our state and our university uh, is tremendous for, for the state and, and for uh, potentially economic growth and development and people having awareness of good things happening in the state of Mississippi. Not just football, but it opens their eyes about our state and what we are and what we mean to this nation. It's been a long time since the Mississippi State family felt as good about itself as they 
feel right now. It's the holiday season. Uh, I understand you have a message for our Bulldog family that you'd like to share. Well, thank you, Sid, and thank you for uh, visiting with me this afternoon. Uh, I'd just like to say that uh, I'm very honored and very blessed to be here, and it's been six years at, as president at Mississippi State University. And this holiday season is always a very festive and exciting time for all of us and our families. And uh, to our faculty and to our staff, I want to say thank you for a great job and what you're doing here to make this university great. Uh, and to all of our Bulldog family, our students, and uh, everyone who love this university and care about this university. And on behalf of myself and my wife Rhonda and our four children, Katie, Rhett, Mary Phillips, and Tori, uh, we want to say uh, happy holidays and have a wonderful, wonderful time with your family. But mainly, again, have a very safe and happy holiday season. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Keenum. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of Presidential Update. We'll see you with the next edition in 2015.